Hello, hello, hello. Welcome guys, welcome back channel. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, we are doing the impossible. We are doing something I've wanted to do for a very long time, but I've only built up the guts to do it today. We are making a Sam Gallatry inspired beat. I know, I know it's a lot to live up to. I know he's pretty damn good. But in the name of pushing ourselves and moving forward, you know what, we're gonna give it a try today. We got nothing to lose. I've been listening to his discography all day and I've come up with a little list here of, you know, just items that I consider, you know, important to getting that Sam Gellatry sound. So the first thing is you wanna focus on soundscapes. Uh, he really likes the film score kind of vibe. On top of that, melody-wise, he really likes using kind of Middle Eastern, Persian, Phrygian scales. Uh, so really interesting kind of melodic palette. You gotta create that vibe. Very atmospheric, um, lots of weird samples that come in and out. The other thing is he seems to love sounds that are very reminiscent of video game sound design since. Add some noise to that. Maybe change the wave. And he also loves strings. Let's do a little auto filter on there just to make it sound a little bit thinner because it's just a layer, a little EQ. I feel like it needs some more like rhythm, like some kind of like pulse. Okay, that's a nice like string kind of thing. Ooh, that's kind of like a pulse. I'm just gonna exaggerate this using uh, the wave stomp pedal. We can do some vibrato. Sync this to the song. And we'll pair that together with the other string. Ooh. Chop it up with some LFO tool. I feel like some flanger could sound cool in this. Just adds like a little background cadence. After the atmospheric part, there's always kind of a drop in all of his tracks that have just a banging 808 and a pretty simple kick and snare pattern with a bunch of side chain, I should mention. Let's mess up this clap a little bit. Pull down the transients here a bit. Thank you, Decap. Okay, but let's distort this 808 a bit. Ooh, 
Can we handle it? Maybe I'll do some phaser to cover it up a bit. Ooh. But we're gonna try to tighten this up a bit. I love this Ableton utility plugin, make the bass mono. He is very good and crafty at using percussion to kind of create really interesting and intricate rhythms. Say what? Okay, the other thing Sam Geltry likes are these like arps that like saw arps, I wanna say, that kind of, that have like an auto pan that go like left to right. There it is. And lots of vocal chops as well. I think that could work. We just need, we need to kind of exaggerate that snare hit. Let's add some white noise for fun and you know, do some kind of side chain on it. Okay, I'm just cutting the volume every time the snare hits uh, on this white noise. I want it to stand out a little bit more. Maybe if we add some phaser. Ooh, we could also add like a high pass filter that like sweeps up every time. All right, I think that is mission accomplished. Drop a comment below if you guys think it sounds like Sam Gallatry. Uh Tell me what you think. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video as well if you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you guys all next time in a future video. Bye for now.